What's up guys? Node Investor here. Today I want to talk about Bitcoin. I got a question a couple days ago. Bitcoin is over $1400. Should I wait? Should I buy it here? What uh, do you see as a potential entry point? Uh, great question. So I'm going to attempt to answer that looking at some charts doing a little bit of technical analysis. But first, let's take a quick look at the markets. Markets overall have been down a little bit, consolidating some pulling back here. Except for Bitcoin, look at Bitcoin today. Up another 5% over the last day, $1,460. So nearing that $1,500 mark. Ethereum, Ethereum $77, pulling back a little bit off that 80. Dash coming in, it's at $80 right now. Litecoin, pretty much sitting tight, still in that $15 range. Uh, Monero pulling back a little bit. Still above $21, $22 here. Ripple. Ethereum Classic had that huge run up. Looked like it's pulling in a little bit. $6.26. Pivx, $1.66. Zcash, still in the 90s at $92. So. so let's hop into the topic here. Let's look at some charts. So should you buy here? Should you wait for a consolidation or another setup and then a breakout? Now, you guys saw some of my last videos where I showed you a, a, a base setting up and some breakouts. Different scenarios require different types of technical analysis. Sometimes you wait for a consolidation and a breakout. Other times you look at trend lines, moving averages, um, channels, that sort of thing. If it's pulling back, you do a different type of analysis. Um, so I'm going to cover a couple of those today. I'm not going to go too in depth on the indicators there are literally thousands of indicators um, i'm not going to talk about fibonacci or arcs or any of those other things bollinger bands none of that i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to look at some trend lines moving averages and some basic uh candlestick bar charts here so just to show you what i'm looking at here this is the chart of bitcoin on the bitstamp exchange so you can see here the price is currently 1461 1456 around there each of these bars is a four hour time period. So each bar represents what happens to the price in four hours. And this is going back uh, just you know a few days going back to basically late April. Um, so that's just to calibrate where we're at. Uh, generally, when I do a technical analysis, I will look at larger time periods. I'm not the type of the guy that looks at the five minute and the one minute chart and looks at every little wiggle. I'm generally looking at one hour, four hour, and dailies. I really like the daily charts. They give you a broader perspective and a, and a good feel for, for the general market. So back to the topic. All right, so Bitcoin here, right? So the thing with Bitcoin is Bitcoin is at all-time highs. And there's an old saying, the trend is your friend. And when something is at all-time highs, what that means is anybody who has bought it is in profit zone. There's nobody who bought it at a higher price and is waiting for the price to come back. So generally, when something reaches all-time prices, all-time highs in the price, it tends to continue to run um, because there's nobody wanting to sell it at that point because no one's underwater on it. Uh, so you'll see some profit taken along the way, but generally, new highs beget new highs beget new highs. So where Bitcoin could go from here um, is anybody's guess, right? We're at fourteen hundred dollars. We were at thirteen hundred just a couple days ago. Could we go to fifteen, sixteen, seventeen? Absolutely, right? Um, would I like to see that? I don't like to see prices start really going straight up because that's generally a sign that the move is running its course. Um, there's another old saying that says ninety percent of the move comes at the last ten percent of the time. Um, maybe it's not that exaggerated, but generally that's what you see. You tend to see that big final climactic blow off top. Um, the last person that just couldn't wait to get in is finally in and then things start to correct for a little bit. So let's look at the chart. So the first thing you want to look at when something is going at all time highs and it's starting to run is you want to look at trend lines, right? So is there a trend? So back here, right before the, uh, the 900 to $1,200 range, uh, when it bottomed and it decided to start going up, it formed a little trend line, right? So you can see it came down, touched this point, went up, came down, touched this point, went up, came down, um, and then it finally broke the trend. So this this transitioned into another little base period, and then it started doing another one. So let's look at the current trend line. 
and let's see where we're at right now so there's actually two in here right so there's this general one that we've seen for the last couple of days is kind of around this this point here and then you're seeing a little bit more of a pronounced trend form here this here this one two day period is not a trend yet okay this is the market going parabolic a little bit oops so there's the trend line so that's one thing to look at right so it would not be unusual uh, for bitcoin to pull back a little bit bounce around and then let this trend line catch up to it the other thing to look for is moving averages so i'm going to get rid of these trend lines for now just to help keep the chart clean and so moving averages are very popular as an indicator they're your friend um, there's a couple that i'll use um, and it just depends on the time frame i'm looking at but the 20 day the 50 day sometimes i'll do the 10 day uh, so let's look at a couple here so here is the 20 period exponential moving averages so i'm not going to go into the math of how that's calculated basically look at this back period right here see the chart went up came down look where it hit right on that line went up came down generally speaking these moving averages if it's a trend will hold uh, so you can see this appear now fast forward to this current time period kind of going up came below it but closed above came down right here consolidate a little bit hit that line and here we go again so if you're looking for another entry point in the near term that could potentially put another entry point right so if it pulls back a little bit which would not be unusual to that moving average point um, Again, I'm using a shorter term moving average because the market's running so fast uh, and the market's a little more stable. You'll tend to look at some longer period moving averages, so like a 50 or a 30. And uh, you can see here that it kind of vacillates on both sides, but generally is above. So that's, that's a couple of points there. Um, another one you can look for here is this little bit of a consolidation here. That we're seeing right so this will excuse me so this will basically show a little bit of a a mini base if you will i mean it's not a lot of time period but you could use that as a as a floor so if the price were to pull back it could come down to the top of this shaded area which would be uh let's basically say 1350 uh, that's what we're looking at there so moving averages trend lines um, mini consolidations if you're looking to get in here and you really want to find a spot to get in at uh, those are some options again it all depends on your time frame right if you're just buying for the long term if you're one of those believers that say you know what bitcoin is going to 2000 this year or to 5000 ultimately um, then you probably don't care about this right you're going to just buy along the way whenever you get some opportunity and you're going to hold on to it regardless of what the price does um, so everyone's different some people are are looking to make a shorter term trade i just want to trade it for a couple of days where do i buy if that's you uh, here at 1460 1500 is probably not your entry point you might want to wait for a little pullback but like i said we're at all-time highs so it's kind of hard to say um, could it go to 1500 a day absolutely uh, so Stay tuned, guys. Um, I know this was a little bit technical. I'm going to do a course just to let you guys know I'm working on a, on a little bit of a course to go in depth into how to read charts. Uh, what is a candlestick? What's an open, high, low, close bar chart? Should I use a line? Moving averages, all that fun stuff, bases, consolidation, triangles. So I'm going to put that together here. It's in work right now. So uh, stay tuned and take care. All right. So back here, right? before the uh, the 900 to 1200 range uh, when it bottomed and decided to start going up it formed a little trend line right so you can see it came down touched this point went up came down touched this point went up came down um, and then it finally broke the trend so this this transition into another little base period and then it started doing another one so let's look at the current trend line and let's see where we're at right now so there's actually two in here right so there's this general one that we've seen for the last couple of days is kind of around this this point here and then you're seeing a little bit more of a pronounced trend form here this here this one two day period is not a trend yet okay this is the market going parabolic a little bit 
Oops. So there's the trend line. So that's one thing to look at, right? So it would not be unusual uh, for Bitcoin to pull back a little bit, bounce around, and then let this trend line catch up to it. The other thing to look for is moving averages. So I'm going to get rid of these trend lines for now just to help keep the chart clean. And so moving averages are very popular as an indicator. They're your friend. Um, there's a couple that I'll use, um, and it just depends on the time frame I'm looking at. But the 20-day, the 50-day, sometimes I'll do the 10-day. Uh, so let's look at a couple of here. So here is the 20 period exponential moving averages. So I'm not going to go into the math of how that's calculated. Basically, look at this back period right here. See the chart went up, came down. Look where it hit, right on that line. Went up, came down. Generally speaking, these moving averages, if it's a trend, will hold. Uh, so you can see this appear. Now, fast forward to this current time period, kind of going up, came below it, but closed above, came down right here, consolidated a little bit, hit that line, and here we go again. So if you're looking for another entry point in the near term, that could potentially put another entry point, right? So if it pulls back a little bit, which would not be unusual, to that moving average point. Um, again, I'm using a shorter term moving average because the market's running so fast. Uh, when the market's a little more stable, you'll tend to look at some longer period moving averages, so like a 50 or a 30. And uh, you can see here that it kind of vacillates on both sides, but generally is above. So that's, that's a couple of points there. Um, Another one you can look for here is this little bit of a consolidation here that we're seeing, right? So this will, excuse me. So this will basically show a little bit of a, a mini base, if you will. I mean, it's not a lot of time period, but you could use that as a, as a floor. So showed you a, a, a base setting up and some breakouts. Different scenarios require different types of technical analysis sometimes you wait for a consolidation in a breakout other times you look at trend lines moving averages um, channels that sort of thing if it's pulling back you do a different type of analysis um, so i'm going to cover a couple of those today i'm not going to go too in depth on the indicators there are literally thousands of indicators um, I'm not going to talk about Fibonacci or ARCs or any of those other things, Bollinger Bands, none of that. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to look at some trend lines, moving averages, and some basic uh, candlestick bar charts here. So just to show you what I'm looking at here, this is the chart of Bitcoin on the Bitstamp exchange. So you can see here the price is currently 14.61, 14.56, around there. Each of these bars is a four-hour time period. So each bar represents what happens to the price in four hours. And this is going back uh, just you know a few days, going back to basically late April. Um, so that's just to calibrate where we're at. Uh, generally, when I do a technical analysis, I will look at larger time periods. I'm not the type of the guy that looks at the five minute and the one minute chart and looks at every little wiggle. I'm generally looking at one hour, four hour, and dailies. I really like the daily charts. They give you a broader perspective and, and a good feel for, for the general market. So back to the topic. All right, so Bitcoin here, right? So the thing with Bitcoin is Bitcoin is at all-time highs. And there's an old saying, the trend is your friend. And when something is at all-time highs, what that means is anybody who has bought it is in profit zone. There's nobody who bought it at a higher price and is waiting for the price to come back. So generally, when something reaches all-time prices, all-time highs in the price, it tends to continue to run um, because there's nobody wanting to sell it at that point because no one's underwater on it. Uh, so you'll see some profit taken along the way, but generally, new highs beget new highs beget new highs. So where Bitcoin could go from here um, is anybody's guess, right? We're at $1,400. We were at 1300 just a couple days ago. Could we go to 15, 16, 17? Psh, absolutely, right? Um, would I like to see that? I don't like to see prices start really going straight up because that's generally a sign that the move is running its course. Um, there's another old saying that says 90% of the move comes at the last 10% of the time. 
Um, maybe it's not that exaggerated, but generally that's what you see. You tend to see that big final climactic blow off top. Um, the last person that just couldn't wait to get in is finally in and then things start to correct for a little bit. So let's look at the chart. So the first thing you want to 